Hi guys, this is I'm Stark and today we're looking at crude oil and fractional distillation. So uh, in crude oil, it's a very, on its own, it's not a very useful um, substance. It has many different hydrocarbons, which all have different uh, length of chains, so they, um, which uh, affects many factors. <clears throat> so the boiling point of a hydrocarbon depends on the size of it. So if it has a short chain, it will have a much lower boiling point, whereas if it has a long chain, it will have a higher boiling point. Um, so the volatility, if it, which is how is it, the tendency to turn into a gas, um, a short chain uh, easy, uh, turns into a gas easier than a long chain. Um, then the viscosity, which is how easy it flows, um, a long chain is very thick, is it got is high viscosity, whereas a short chain is very runny, so it's a low viscosity. And finally, flammability, um, a short chain is much more flammable than a long chain, which would have a smoky flame. So how do we make these um, compounds in crude oil useful? Well, it's simple. We put them into a fractional distillator. So these separate, um, these separate the crude oil into hydrocarbons with similar boiling points called fractions. So what happens at the bottom of it, so it's a, it's a kind of like a big oil refinery in a way, but at the bottom of it, it's very hot, it's about 350 degrees, and out comes here is the residue, which is very thick, sticky mixture of long chain hydrocarbons, and this can be used for things like roads and flat roofs. Um, so the oil is vaporized before going into town, and it comes in as this gas, and then it goes up to its boiling point, and when it reaches its boiling point, it gets fractioned off. So at the top, things like petroleum gas come off because it's got short chain hydrocarbons. Then it goes down and you can have gasoline or petrol, um, which is of course used for fuel in car engines. Then as you go down even more, which is getting hotter, of course, the further you go down, the hotter it is. Um, it's kerosene, which is used for aircraft fuel. Then there's diesel oil and gas oil, which is again used in engines, um, cars as well. You can either have diesel or petrol, of course. And then there, that's, so those are the real fractions. So as I, I mean, just to sum up really everything is that, so crude oil is fed near the bottom of the tool tower um, and then it, it's kept very hot at the bottom. Um, it's a continuous process, which means it's quite quick. Um, so all the hydrocarbons with small molecules have the lowest boiling point, so they're collected right at the top. Um, however, once collected, the fractions do need more processing before they can be used. Alright, thanks for watching and please can you visit my website which is www.imstuck.wix.com slash imstuck GCSE revision but just check the link below and you'll be absolutely fine. Thank you and see you soon. Bye.